than some Friday night basketball. Absolutely, you said it best. Four out of six teams in the SUNYAC have punched their tickets to the playoffs. Just two games remaining for both teams, and it's anyone's uh, it's it's anyone's game. Yeah, it's anyone's game, Jason. And as we mentioned about playoff implications, right now Oswego is number five. They're eight and eight in the SUNYAC, but they just dropped two straight games against Brockport and Geneseo, but for Donia, they're not really that far off. They're at number seven. They're six and 10 in the SUNYAC, so both of these teams have something to play for. What are you seeing out from tonight from both of these teams? Do you think it's gonna be a lot of aggression or do you think it's gonna be more of a defensive battle? Oh, absolutely, it's gonna be a lot of aggression tonight. As you said, uh, Lakers, a win tonight all but guarantees them a spot in the playoffs. Uh, for for Donia, they really have to win out in order to find a spot in the SUNYAC playoffs. But yeah, you're gonna see the aggressiveness all night from both teams. They know the implications this game has for them tonight. Yeah, uh, as we mentioned best, it's a lot of implications and also, you know, the history favors Fredonia because they, going into last year, Oswego was on an eight game losing streak. They snapped that. Now they're on a three game winning streak against Fredonia. So they're going to see if they can bring that up tonight and make it four. But as we look at the lineups for today's, uh, today's matchup, we got for Oswego, we got Zane Holmes, and for Oswego, it's going to be Zane Holmes. We got Macy Diordio, Elena Johnson, Shayna Iglesias, and at the bottom, it's number 30, Giovanna White Principio, is leading in points per game. But for, for, for Donia, we have Caitlin Snyder, Renee Park, Grace Alexander, number 25, Ali Wandell, and then at rounding out is number 33, Mary Colton. So a lot of different. You know, as you mentioned, Jason, a lot of different things can go on today, but I feel like it's going to be a really good matchup just based off of just how both of these teams play. They kind of play similarly, and going into today, they can, Oswego, if they win, they have a good chance to secure at least that sixth spot into the playoffs. Yeah, absolutely. A big game for them tonight. For Donia, they're going to have to try to find, a, find an answer for Giovanna White Principio. She's been a beast underneath, and... Uh, Second place in SUNYAC for rebounds, uh, 9.6 rebounds per game. So they're going to have to try and find an answer for her tonight. Yeah, it's it's going to be tough because obviously all season she's been leading in points per game for Oswego, and she's just been a dominant force down low for this Oswego State team. So we're going to get uh, ready for tip-off here between the Oswego Lakers and the Fredonia Blue Devils. This is game one of two as the Lakers will face off tomorrow against Plattsburgh for their senior day coverage uh, here on WTOP 10. So don't miss out on that, but we're gonna get started for some basketball here right soon as Giovanna White Principio will be the one at the tip off. So let's get things started here in the Max Seal. And tip off goes to the Blue Devils and here we go. So Grace Alexander will get the opening possession. She will be at the top of the key. Throw it over to Renee Park. Her three point doesn't go and White Principio gets the rebound and Iglesias goes down the floor. Oswego is in the white and green jerseys. Fredonia in the blue and white here in the Maxiel Gymnasium. Diordio's going down low, she passes it out to Holmes. Holmes with the spin around jump. That doesn't go, but White Principio draws a shooting foul on that rebound and she'll go to the line for two. Yeah, White Principio just a great job absorbing contact, finding the free throw line early and uh, finding a great opportunity to score early on. Yeah, and she's been obviously a dominant force down low, now going in for two free throws. First one doesn't go for Principio. She'll try to see if she can she can get this second one to go. And her next one, she banks it, and it is one nothing Oswego, just with only 30 seconds off of the play clock. Now going down, it is Ali Wandell outside. She throws it over to Mary Colton. Colton passes it over to Snyder. Snyder back to Alexander. That shot three-point doesn't go for the Blue Devils and now it is Diordio going down the court. Throws it over to Iglesias. Iglesias with her three doesn't hit rim but 
Diordio with the rebound. Throws it over White Principio. She gets the easy layup into the basket. And now it is 3-0 Oswego off of White Principio. Yeah, I've seen Lakers coming out here in man-to-man. -man. I'm kind of surprised by that. Historically, Fredonia is not a well-rounded three-point shooting team. Last game, they only made uh, four three-pointers. Shot 424 from the three-point three line. I'm kind of surprised they're not going into zone to start this match. Right. And Grace Alexander tries to get the Blue Devils on the board, but that will not go for her and White Principio with the rebound. Now with Macy Diordio, she has been a surprising uh, catalyst for this Oswego team. Throws it over to Iglesias. Iglesias trying to find someone. A nice screen by Johnson, and that layup is good for Iglesias. And now it is 5-0, a 5-0 run for the Oswego Lakers to start off this with eight minutes left in this first quarter. Now at the top of the key is Colton. Throws it over to Renee Park. Over to Snyder. Snyder to Wandell. Wandell to uh, Grace Alexander, and that one doesn't go for the Blue Devils, and it is over to Iglesias. Iglesias boxed out, but a nice play by the De uh, Blue Devils. Grace Alexander ended up getting that rebound. They do it again, giving some pressure to this Lakers team as that one goes out of bounds, but it will be Lakers ball, so Jason, we're seeing some aggression more from this Blue Devils team. They have a lot to play for. They're the number seven seed. They're trying to creep into that number six seed uh, to the playoffs. Yeah, early pressure from Fredonia. I was kind of surprised to see a press early on, but again, it, it, they popped the ball up two times, the Lakers have, and now you see the third time just popping it up. The aggressiveness from Fredonia just been surprising. Yeah, and some sloppy work from this Lakers team, seeing if the Blue Devils can get back in this. Alexander trying to find some space over to Park. Park throws it over to Wandell. Wandell back to Alexander. Alexander now at the top of the key. She gets a screen from Wandell. Her shot doesn't go in, and the, they're trying to keep it in, but it's offered by Diordio coming down the court. Throws it over to Principio, but it's going to be a travel call here, and it's going to be in the possession of the Blue Devils. So some sloppy play from the Slickers. They started off hot with a 5-0 run, Jason. Now it's only a one-point game. Yeah, simple mistakes, little mistakes that uh, have cost the Lakers a couple possessions. And I look at it, one-point game. It was a 5 nothing game to start the, at the start. And now over to Alexander with the ball. She throws it over to Colton. Colton tries to get a shot going, but nice defense by Principio, but she gets the ball back, and it is stolen away by White Principio. Iglesias going up the floor now. Iglesias throws it into White Principio with the patience. She's able to draw a foul. That first shot didn't go in, but she's able to draw another foul, and she'll go to the line to try to make it a three-point game here in the Max Steel Gymnasium. Yeah, White Principio, great job just uh, sticking with the play, able to, able to absorb the ball and, and uh, get, in, get a second chance. Yeah, and this is White Principio's second uh, try at the line. She is oh, or she's one for two. Now she makes it uh, three for four here. Now up three here in the max seal. Seven to four. Oswego over the Blue Devils, but the Blue Devils in possession. Now it is Colton at the top of the key. She's going inside, but a nice steal by Iglesias. Nice heads up play and Diordio is coming up the court now. Diordio going in space, trying to get something going, but nothing really going there, and now it will be the Blue Devils coming up with Park. Park throws it over to Snyder. Snyder tries to draw a foul, but doesn't, but that one will go in, and it goes back to a one-point game, 7-6 to six in Oswego's favor. Now throws it over to Holmes. Holmes inside to White Principio, and she gets it to go. And that's, Jason, that's one of the reasons why Oswego's doing really well with Principio leading in points per game, she gets another one right there. Yeah, leading the offense right now. You can see the offense just revolves around her, and she's been a key factor for Oswego early on. And now, using some ball movement for the Blue Devils, trying to get some looks, and Grace Alexander with the three, and it is all tied up here in the max seal, 9-9, after Alexander gets her fifth point of the game. She is two for five from the floor. Yeah, doing a great job. She was 0 of 8 last time, 
uh, the Lakers, uh, last time the Blue Devils faced off against the Lakers. Throws uh, it inside to White Principio. She tries to get it. She gets her own rebound and gets that one in. And White Principio now at nine points. So she has nine of the 11 Oswego points so far, up two against the Blue Devils. Now in the Blue Devils' possession, it is number 24 going over. And that is going to be Alexander from three. That one's not good to go, but the Blue Devils get the possession right back. Fredonia only down two here. Four minutes and 30 seconds, and that one will go out of bounds. And the call will stay in a Blue Devils possession. We will get a we'll get a timeout here for the Blue Devils, but the Oswego Lakers up 11-9 with about four minutes and 29 seconds. Jason, what have you seen so far from both teams here in this first quarter? Well, for the Lakers, obviously we knew that it was going to be Giovanna Weapon Simpio running the running the offense for the Lakers. We just see the, the mental fortitude for her to be able to grab the grab rebounds. I'm sorry, double team, grabbing a rebound, getting a second chance opportunity. And on the other side, looking at Fredonia, I think it's a big deal that uh, Grace Alexander was able to uh, connect on a three. She was 0 for 4 uh, on three point attempts last game uh, against against uh, Plattsburgh. So for her to connect early early on from the three point line is huge. And Grace Alexander, she is also the leading points getter for Fredonia. So both point getters, leading point getters for both teams are really making an impact in this big crucial Suniac matchup that has a lot of playoff implications as we said before White Principio here with nine points and Grace Alexander with five points with just under uh, four minutes and 30 seconds here in this big Suniac matchup so we talk about the playoff implications so we talk about how Fredonia can get back up into this but they're gonna need some help and they're gonna need to take care of business tonight yeah they have to really they have to win out and then have a couple teams uh, lose for them but it's, it's gonna be an uphill battle for Fredonia but again if they can pull up an upset here against Oswego it'll do wonders for them now we get back into action here now Mary Colton will throw it over to Grace Alexander who's had a big game so far throws it inside to Alexis Wright but the three doesn't go for Mary Colton, and it will be in Oswego's possession here. Shayna Iglesias will uh, dump it in for the Lakers over to Macy Diordio. And Iglesias will go up to the top of the key here. Gets a nice screen by Principio. Little double team action here so far. Now throws it over to Holmes. Holmes from three. That one just hits off the rim and out for the Lakers. And Fredonia looking to capitalize, but a nice play by Holmes trying to get that possession back, but it will still be in the Blue Devils' possession. 11-9 to with about under four minutes here. 3.52 left to play in this first quarter. And it will be Mary Colton throws it over inside to Alexander. Try to make something happen but that one's going to go out of bounds and that one's going to be for Oswego here. Again surprised still that they're going man to man against uh, against Fredonia. Fredonia is not a good three point shooting team. You want them shooting outside the line. I'm kind of surprised that the Lakers haven't switched over to zone. And now Shayna Iglesias coming up to the right wing here throws it over to Holmes in the left wing from three. That one is knocked down for Zane Holmes getting herself on the board for the Lakers. Her first three point. She is now one for three from the floor. Now it's 14-9 and Shayna Iglesias coming up the floor now trying to make something happen but a triple team here and she is able to get out of it. Throws it over to Johnson. Elenia Johnson goes inside trying to find an open player and throws it over to Zane Holmes. Holmes getting a little pressure there. White Principio over to Johnson. Her jump jumper doesn't go, but a nice rebound by Holmes. And it was a good rebound by Peyton Gilbert. And Fredonia will go up running. Throws it over to Alexander from three. Doesn't hit anywhere close, and the Lakers will take over possession with about two minutes and 30 seconds left to play here. Now with Holmes. 
at the left wing. She tries to find an open Principio. Principio from three. That one is knocked in off of the backboard and White Principio. Now at 12 points, she shows why she is the top point getter here for the Lakers. Now in for Donia's possession. Throws it inside, but nice defense by Principio, giving up the giving the pressure to this Fredonia team. I mean, Principio really making a name for herself as she goes to the bench, and Oswego will switch in some players here. It'll be Carly Leo coming in, as well as Logan Castiglione and Elena Johnson. I was just left in shock right now. Seeing Giovanna White Principio hit a three-point shot, only took an eight three-point attempts this season. Oh, wait, that was her first three of the season. And now the free throw by Fredonia is no good. That was from Peyton Gilbert, and Sydney Hopes will go up to uh, go in possession, and that one is a bad pass by Hopes, but it will still be in Oswego's possession as that was tipped off of a Blue Devil. Now Sydney Hopes at the left wing. Trying to make something happen here. Throws it over to Carly Leo. Carly Leo gets a little tripped up there by Alexander. Alexander with a fast break. She throws it up there and gets that one to go. Now it's only a six-point game. Heads-up play by Alexander. So both big point getters, Alexander and White Principio, making plays on offense and defense, Jason. Yeah, well, we're seeing the Lakers now. They're struggling offensively without White Principio on the floor. It's been a surprise. It seems like they're a little out of rhythm now, but Fredonia trying to take advantage here. It was Ali Wandell. She gets called for a travel, and Oswego will take over possession here with Castiglione throwing it in to Sydney Hopes. We saw with, with uh, White Principio on the floor, Lakers ran a modified uh, triangle offense, but now we're just seeing uh, there's really no offense, no offensive rhythm for the Lakers. And Carly Leo from the right corner, that one does not go in and it will be thrown in by Elania Johnson or excuse me Julia Logana to Elania Johnson but that will go out of bounds and Oswego will still remain in possession here as Sydney Hopes will try to uh, throw it in here so about one minute and one second left Oswego still trying to control this period and throws it over to Carly Leo and Castiglione's at the left wing Stiglione finds it inside, but a bad pass. Logana unable to get it, and the Blue Devils are going down. That's Sarah Seaman. Ends it up, gets that one up, and that one is no good, and Oswego will take over possession. And Castiglione passes it out to Sydney Hopes. And with about 40 seconds, they'll try to eat all of this left of this first quarter. Throws it over to Logana, but really bad passing from this Lakers. Fredonia trying to take advantage here. The shot by Ali Wandell. They keep it in. Wandell trying to find an open player with her jump shot. Un not even contested there. And now it is a four-point game here in the Max Steel. Sydney Hopes trying to get something going before the end of the first quarter. So Hopes and a... And a bad possession there from the Lakers. As you mentioned, Jason, White Principio went to the bench. A completely different Lakers team. A mess for the Lakers right now. They could have scored twice there. Now, uh, Cardone has an opportunity to make it a one-point game. And now Wandell trying to make something happen, and that is going to be not a foul called, but it is going to go out of bounds and stay within Fredonia's possession as they have about one second left here in this first quarter. Donia will throw it in. One last Hail Mary shot, and that one almost went in for Grace Alexander, and that will be the end of the first quarter here in the Max Steel Gymnasium. Oswego up 17 to 13, and Giovanna White Principio has 12 points for the Lakers, but Jason, we mentioned Oswego has been scoreless for the last two minutes and 30 seconds, and they're one for four on on the floor for the last four possessions here. Yeah, again, you can see just the impact White Principio has when she's on the court. She runs this offense, top to bottom. She runs this offense, and just, uh, again, we saw the Laker offense out of sync, really, when she was not on the floor. And again, 
And this could have been uh, a 10 point game if Principio was on the floor. But again, we saw Fredonia starting to make a run at the end and almost had a, ch had a chance to make it a one possession game. But again, just see the momentum starting to shift towards the end of the quarter. Yeah, we see that right now and we see some of the stats from the game. The rebounds for Oswego, 15 to seven. And you gotta credit Giovanna White Principio from getting five out of those 15. And you look over to the Fredonia side, Grace Alexander, have yourself a corner because you have seven points. But for Fredonia and Oswego, you have those two point getters. You got Giovanna White Principio, you got Grace Alexander. But who else is going to step up? They're not always going to be on the floor. So they're going to have to rely on other players to get in space and, and get some points on the board, or it's just going to be one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. You said it best. they got to find another score out there. I'm, I'm kind of surprised. You know, we see uh, a lot of Elena Wright get uh, six points last game for, uh, for Donia. So, again, we just got to find someone to step up for them. And starting off this second quarter, Carly Leo will throw it over to Sydney Hopes and we'll get this started here. Now Logan Castiglione at the right wing. She's, she's throwing it into Logana. Logana throws it over, but a bad pass, but Carly Leo is able to get possession there. Castiglione from three. That one is off the rim and out, and the Fredonia Blue Devils will take over. Throws it in to Kyla Smith. Kyla Smith throws it over to Colton. Colton over to Snyder. Back to Park. Fredonia really getting everyone involved there. Kyla Smith from the three-point line doesn't go. And Oswego will take over possession. Trying to make this a larger lead here after going scoreless. Castiglione with the fadeaway jump shot. That one doesn't go. And... It is still a four point game here without about a minute off of this second quarter. So inside, and the Fredonia Blue Devils end up getting on the board. That was Caitlin Snyder from inside, and it is a two point game here in the Maxwell Gymnasium. A huge, huge, huge possession for Fredonia, making it a one score game. Cindy Hopes over to Castiglione. Castiglione needs to get something going, but on another bad shot, and Renee Park going up there, not really contested, and a shot by Kyla Smith off of the backboard, but a nice rebound from Grace Alexander. She gets her ninth point of the game, and now it is 17-17 here with about eight minutes and 20 seconds left. Oswego is still scoreless uh, for four minutes now, dating back to the first quarter. Julia Logana from the top of the key. Throws it over to Carly Leo. Carly Leo inside of Logana. A little un, un, uncontested there, but that one is going to go to the Fredonia Blue Devils. And Jason, we mentioned it before, Oswego now going on to five minutes scoreless, dating back to that first, first, or first quarter. One for seven in the last seven possessions. Not going to cut it if you want to... Uh, get into the playoffs and really make a statement here in the studio. No, just sloppy, sloppy possessions for us. We go. Well, we're seeing Fredonia. They're getting to. They're, they're finding shots early on. The shots that they want to take, and uh, just really, Lakers are struggling defensively. And that will be a foul on Kyla Smith, and now the Blue Devils will take over possession with Mary Colton. Colton throws it over to Wandell. And that will, will be a turnover possession travel call. And Oswego will take over possession here. Need to get. And going over here for the Lakers, Iglesias will throw it over to Elena Johnson. Johnson doesn't end the scoreless streak for the Lakers. And now will go up the floor with Colton. Throws it over to Park. Renee Park right now has nothing she's trying to make get some points on the board and that one will be another travel call so both of these teams not really getting much going here you know travels back-to-back -back travel calls for Fredonia Lakers aren't really taking advantage Jason well, we said it earlier in the broadcast little mistakes and that we're seeing on both sides back-to-back -back possessions with travels uh, just not the way you want to start out for either team Iglesias double team once again in a great 
play by Renee Park, but Iglesias gets the ball back, throws it over to Alenia Johnson. Iglesias from the right wing is bounced off, but it's a nice rebound by White Principio, unable to get it there, but she keeps it alive for the Lakers. Throws it back into White Principio from Macy Diordio. That one doesn't go, but another offensive rebound for Oswego. And that one will be a turnover on possession for the Lakers. And the scoreless streak still lives, going up to six minutes now for the Lakers. And for Donia, they're scoreless now for almost two minutes, Jason. So really a standstill here in the Maxfield Gymnasium. Yeah, it seems to be a rim on both, uh, it seems to be a lit on the rim for both teams. And now for Donia with Colleton, throws it over to Caitlin Snyder. Caitlin Snyder over to Culleton, but she makes a bad pass, and the Lakers will take her possession. So trading possessions here with about 6 minutes and 37 seconds left in this second quarter. 17-17 here on WTOP10. I'm Alex Brooks. Alongside me is Jason Samsel. Iglesias over to Holmes. Holmes with a jump shot. That one doesn't go, and it will be a rebound by Fredonia Ali Wandel. Throws it over to Alexander. Back to Wandell. Trying to make something going. But nothing going there. And it is a nice rebound by Holmes. Holmes over to Iglesias. Had an open shot, but throws it over to Diordio. Diordio trying to make someone miss. Throws it over to Elena Johnson. Bad shot selection there for the Lakers. And Fordonia will try to and their scoreless streak now at three minutes. So Alexander from the left wing. That one is going. The scoreless streak has ended for Fredonia. Still for Oswego. Fredonia crawls back into this game. Now up three, 20 to 17. And Alexander is at 10 points. Now Diordio at the right wing. Throws it inside to Principio. Over to Iglesias. And that one is a nice answer back from the Lakers. 20-20, scoreless streaks are ended, and now we can just finally play basketball, Jason. Absolutely, absolutely. It, 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 the Lakers needed that three in the worst way possible, man, just to stop the bleeding from Fredonia. And now Wandell will try to make something happen, but that one will be a foul call, and it will be on the Lakers, and we will get a change here for the Blue Devils. Well, we said it earlier in the broadcast, at the top of the broadcast, the aggressiveness from both sides. What would we see from both sides? And we've seen a lot of fouls called in this first half. And uh, you can just see both teams really know the implications of this game tonight. And number four, Sarah Seaman will check in for the Blue Devils. Throws it over to Alexander. Goes over to Wandell from the left wing. That one is off and out, and that will go out of bounds near Coach Pinkerton on the Oswego Lakers side. And we will get a timeout here. So Oswego and Fredonia here tied at 20 with just less than halfway through in this second quarter. Jason, we've seen a difference here in this second quarter for both of these teams. We saw that scoreless streak. That scoreless streak was going for a long time. So I want you to break down that scoreless streak. What did you see from both of these teams? I just saw a lot of turnovers on both sides. A lot of simple little mistakes by both the Lakers and the Blue Devils. But again, it's not really about the scoreless streak. It's how they respond, how both teams are going to respond to the scoreless streak. And, uh, you know, we've seen the, the Oswego offense just been stacked. We saw in the first quarter they were rolling. They were going through... Uh, Giovanna White Principio, but now even with White Principio back in the game, you still see that stagnation in the Laker offense. Yeah, and looking at the last couple possessions for both of these teams, one for eight for Fredonia in their last eight, one for eleven for Oswego. So really a tight game, a lot of defensive defensive plays and a lot of offensive mistakes, as you were mentioning, Jason. A lot of you know, mistakes that can be cleaned up in into this game. I mean, you know, we see the rebounds. 21 for Oswego, 14 for Fredonia, but 
you know, you see the steals. Fredonia, seven to Oswego's three. So Fredonia's playing a little bit more discipline on defense, but these offenses, they need to get in rhythm or this is just gonna come down to, you know, who has the last, uh, last crack at it. So now Iglesias will go up to the floor here with about four minutes and 50 seconds. Iglesias throws it inside to White Principio and she gets that layup to go for the Lakers and now the Lakers are up to 22 to 20 here with Fredonia driving. Yeah, beautiful possession for the Lakers there. You saw the just passing ability. You see the, the team starting to get back in sync offensively. And Grace Alexander with a 10 point game throws it over to Wandell. Wandell tried to do a backwards pass but that wasn't going and her layup is no good to go and Iglesias going up the court now with some aggression. Throws it inside but Fredonia will take over possession here. Now Fredonia throws it inside to Wandell. Wandell unable to get that layup to go and it will still remain in Oswego's possession. Here with Iglesias uh, receiving it from Holmes. Yeah, turnover has been a big sore spot for the Lakers. Last game, they turned the ball over 15 times. And the last time these two teams squared off, Oswego turned the ball over 20 times. And we're seeing that the, the turnovers for both sides affect uh, both sides offensively. Now the Lakers coming up the floor here with Julie Tannenblatt. Starting off here at the top of the key. Throws it over to Diordio. Diordio throwing it over to Holmes. Holmes from the left corner banks that one in and the Lakers with a five point lead here. Getting some momentum here with three minutes and 40 seconds left against the Blue Devils. Now it is Fredonia going inside to Ali Wandell. Wandell throws it over to Seaman and that one is un, unsuccessful and the Lakers will go up here in the possession. Principio tries to get that one-handed pass, but that one is off her fingertips and will go out of bounds. So you mentioned the turnovers, Jason, but you also we also see a lot of uh, un, we see a lot of bad passes, not a lot of good uh, communication out there for the Lakers. No, absolutely. And that's gonna be key for Lakers if they want to pull out a victory here tonight. And now it is Seaman at the left wing throws it over to Grace Alexander. She tries to get her three unsuccessful there and the Lakers are going up up the court now with Diordio. Tannenblatt gets the mishandle from Diordio. She's now at the top of the key over to Holmes. Holmes going inside here with her jump shot. That one is unsuccessful but it's trading back and forth and now it is a fast break for Alexander and that layup is successful for Fredonia, now only down three. Oswego up three now, 25-22, trying to extend their lead, and Fredonia's trying to uh, drive right back here. Tannenblatt now at the left wing. We, you, we see now that Fredonia, as Tannenblatt unable to get that possession here, but Jason, we see with Fredonia, they're using more of uh, a double team with their defense. You're seeing more of an aggression for their defense. What have you seen from this defense so far that's just been very hard to handle for the Lakers? Yeah, Fredonia, Fredonia's hungry. They're, they're hungry. They're getting after it tonight. They're laying out their bodies on the line, and they know that they have to win out in order to have a spot into the playoffs, and you can see the aggressiveness that this team is coming out defensively so far. And now Fredonia is coming out here with Colleton and Colleton with the two and that one is good to go and Oswego's up 25-24 only a one point game here in the Max Steel Gymnasium with Tannenblatt now at the top of the key so a lot of aggression using that two man defense here throws it inside to White Principio she gets that layup to go and the Lakers using White Principio using them down low but Alexander Throw it over to Colleton, 4-3, but a nice deflection. But Fredonia gets the ball back. That shot is thrown up, but it is going to be Oswego's ball at the end of it. So you see the communication for Oswego being a little off, but Fredonia, it's kind of the same way here, Jason. You know, the communication, the shot selection, not really there as you would expect in a big playoff 
uh, implication scenario here for both teams. Yeah, it's been it's been back and forth between both teams. We've seen both teams go on hot streaks. We've seen them uh, turn the ball over a great deal. So it's just a great evenly matched uh, team. And that one is Katie Lilly for the three. That one's unable to go. And White Principio just trying to get something up there, but that's going to be a travel call as um, Peyton Gilbert took the heat of that. And Fredonia will take over with just about a minute left here in the second quarter. Really close game here, 27-24. You know, both teams really playing aggressive, but both teams are not really showing consistency on offense. I have no clue how White Principio was able to grab that rebound. Unfortunately, she traveled, but again, just a great aggressiveness from her. And we, again, we saw a double team on her. Couldn't even uh, couldn't stop her from grabbing the rebound. And Culleton inside, a lot of a lot of bodies, a lot of Laker bodies there, but throws it over to the Blue Devils. But that one was Wandell with that jump shot from the free throw line, unable to go. And now the Lakers are in possession here. Yep. Diordio, Macy Diordio looking for space. She finds some, and that one is going to be uh, unsuccessful. And the late and the Blue Devils striking back here. About 17 seconds left in this second quarter. Now with Grace Alexander at the top of the key. 10 seconds left. Throws it over to Kyla Smith. Kyla Smith finds some space. That one's bouncing around, and that one doesn't go in. And the Lakers have two seconds left. Little mishandle, and that one will that will do it for the second quarter, the first half here in the Max Steel Gymnasium. Oswego up 27 to 24 over the Blue Devils. And Jason, we got a lot to unpack from this first half. We saw White Principio, her impact on the floor. She already has a double-double, 16 points, 10 rebounds. So, and Grace Alexander has 12 points and she is five from 12 from the floor. So, you know, you see the top point getters, they're making an impact early, but for the rest of the team, it's kind of just like picking and choosing. They got to really step up here in the second half. Yeah, absolutely. As you said, the Lakers have to find that, that another score. It cannot just be White Principio running the entire offense. Uh, again, I'm kind of surprised that Macy Diordio, Diordio she is not, she's been scoreless, held scoreless this, court, this uh, half. Again, she's been a big factor for the Lakers throughout the season. She's held scoreless this half. Yeah, and we talk about the turnovers, Jason. Oswego at 15, Fredonia at 8. So over 20 turnovers combined for both of these teams, something that they want to really clean up here in the second half. And going into the second half, they're going to try to break their scoreless streak, as we mentioned before. Fredonia, two minutes, scoreless streak. Oswego, one minute and 44 seconds. How can they clean that up coming into the second half? Well, I think the... Again, if you're if you're a coach on both sides, you just gotta you just gotta tell them to again limit the turnovers, talk offensively. We we didn't see a lot of talking on either side. And just silly mistakes, little mistakes. So again, you just gotta you just gotta stick with it mentally and come out more prepared in the second half to close it out. Yeah, we'll see which team can close it out here in the second half. But don't go anywhere. We'll have second half coverage in just a couple of minutes here on WTOP 10. We'll see you in a little bit.
Jason Oswego scored 27. And they are up three against Fredonia as we start this second half. And we talk about the three-point attempts. There was a lot of three-point attempts that happened for both of these teams. So I just want you to kind of tell me, these guys are doing a lot of uh, battling from the arc. How can they do more here into the second half? Pointers, uh, we expected that from them. Last game they shot 30. Uh, they had 30 shots from the three-point line. I have 11 at the half here, so really on par with what their season's been. Fredonia is chucking up a lot of three-pointers. They, they, they shot 14 three-pointers. Last game, they, last game they, they shot 14 three-pointers. This time, this game, they just have 14 three-pointers at the half. I've just shot, I've attempted 14 three-pointers at the half. Yeah, and it has been, you know, a three-point barrage for both of these teams. And, I mean, for the Oswego for the Oswego State Lakers, you know, the turnovers have been something that is really, we've eyed a lot in this first half. It's been something that has just been going back and forth, but especially for Oswego, the turnovers, 15 to Fredonia's eight. So they're gonna have to limit that going into the second half. How do you think they can address that and not really make those, uh, bad critical mistakes here into the second half to win this game. Yeah, it was a sloppy half for the Lakers. We saw a lot of careless turnovers. A couple of them were because of Fredonia's uh, just forcing the pressure on Oswego, but again, for the most part, it was just careless mistakes causing those turnovers. And again, as we said, as I, as I stated earlier, the, the turnover problem has been a real sore spot for the Lakers throughout the season. And again, we're seeing it in this first half. Just again, it, it could have been easily a 10-point lead for the Lakers, but again, just the turnovers allowing Fredonia to get back into this game and make it a one-possession game at the half. Yeah, and we talk about those turnovers, but, you know, when Giovanna White Principio is on the floor, the rebound category goes up for the Lakers. So, talking about the rebound battle here for both of these teams, White Principio, we know that she's obviously the top point getter but she has 10 rebounds now twice more than anyone on this team so her impact has been good for both scoring and rebounding jason already a double double for white principio again the offense just revolves around her but again oswego just has to have someone to step up i look at macy diorio i mean she has been held scoreless uh in this first half last time the lakers did battle with Fredonia. Diordio was the lead scorer at 17 points. They got to get her going. We saw her taking a lot of uh, shots in the first half, get, going inside, trying to uh, put up a couple of shots. So we saw the aggressiveness out of her. Just has to connect uh, and, and get a couple of shots to fall for her. Yeah, and only something to note is that there's only seven total point scores in this game. Four for Fredonia, Alexander, Wandell, Colleton, and Snyder. And for the Lakers, Zana Holmes, Giovanna White Principio, and Shayna Iglesias. You know, for this second half, they're going to try to get more people involved because, you know, when those people are not on the floor, who is going to step up in that role and do more scoring? Absolutely. I want to circle back one, one quick last time to the turnovers. Oswego State, last game, had 15 turnovers in the game. In just this first half alone, they have 15 turnovers already. Yeah, something to watch and something for the Lakers trying to clean up here as they start off with position with Shayna Iglesias. Iglesias is now throwing it over to Diorio. She's trying to get her four first points of the game. It rolls around and goes in for Diorio. She gets on the board with her first three points. And Oswego starting off hot, now up six. What did I say? Diorio trying to get her going early on, finding her and getting a shot to fall down for her. And Wandell with the layup attempt, and that one is no good. And Diorio going down. She's trying to get her second basket, but a little miscommunication there. And Fredonia's going up the court now with Alexander. Alexander over to Wandell. Wandell inside to Snyder. Colton. Colton over to Alexander. She wanted to pull up, but nothing going there. And over to Wandell. A lot of ball movement here. Snyder inside. Trying to find some space, but Alexander resets at the top of the key. 
Alexander going inside, going past White Principio and Iglesias, but that one is just an unlucky bounce. But Alexander gets it from the right wing, and that one is in. And Fredonia bounces back here, now only down three with a nice three from Grace Alexander. Now Shane Iglesias at the top of the key here, throws it over to Johnson, Elena Johnson. Uh, so far has nothing. She's 0 for 3 from the floor. Inside to Principio. Over to Iglesias. Iglesias going inside. Over to Johnson. But that one is no good. And Fredonia will go up the court now. Colton taking the charge. Colton over to Fredonia there. And another shot from Renee from Renee there, Renee Park, excuse me, as she tried, to, she got charged a foul and now go into the line for two. Well, Fredonia, for, and this, just to open the second half, just doing a great job at keeping uh, the Laker possessions at one and done. And that's going to be key for them if they want to pull out a victory here tonight. And Renee Park got her first points on the score sheet making that first free throw and she makes that second one and now the Blue Devils are only down one as the Lakers are in possession. Iglesias gets the double team but finds Johnson. Johnson over to Holmes and the three is good for Zina Holmes but Fredonia going passing down here trying to get the Lakers on their toes here. Over to Park, Park over to Wandell. Wandell over to Colton. Colton trying to find some space on Iglesias. Over to Grace Alexander as she resets. She's on Diordio. She gets a screen and throws it over to Wandell. Wandell inside to Colton. The backwards layup doesn't go, and Oswego trying to take advantage here. Holmes at the top of the key on Colton. Throws it over to Diordio. Grace Alexander on her, but she gets through the defense and the Lakers now up by six. 35-29 with about seven minutes to go, but Grace Alexander drawing the double team. Over to Renee Park. Renee Park with the three, swirls around, but out. And Oswego taking over possession here. So for some lucky breaks for the Lakers by some unlucky shots for Fredonia. Now Elania Johnson inside to White Principio and a little bit of a miscommunication there but a nice play by Culleton to be able to get that possession. Throws it over to Park trying to make something happen here and a nice pass to uh, for Fredonia for Caitlin Snyder. Ended up getting that, those points there and now Oswego only up four here with about six minutes and 20 seconds left. Yeah, Fredonia just, just, uh, Fredonia really just uh, outsmarting the Lakers. And again, we're seeing the effectiveness of the double team from, uh, from the Blue Devils. It's simple, the double team is simple, but yet effective at stopping this, uh, the offense for the Lakers. Yeah, and we really haven't seen much of double team for the Lakers on defense. Fredonia using that defensive scheme to their advantage, only down four. Now Diordio. Trying to make something happy here over to Iglesias. Iglesias draws the double team, but a bad pass. And that was over Giovanna White Principio. She wasn't able to get a handle on that. And Fredonia will change over here. Now with Culleton up at the top of the key, she'll try to find an open man. Culleton over to Snyder. Snyder to Alexander. Back to Wandell inside to Snyder. Snyder working on White Principio. Goes over to Alexander. Alexander having a big day. Her Hail Mary shot, she gets it as she was going out of bounds. An athletic play from Grace Alexander. Now at 15 points here in the game, only down two against the Lakers. Now Iglesias at the top of the key, drawing the double team as she has all day. Elenia Johnson now back to Iglesias. Iglesias throws it inside to White Principio. They connect there. And a little bit of mis miscommunication there, not able to get a handle on it. A jump ball, but will go in favor of Fredonia. The Blue Devils will take over possession 
now this is a key possession, Jason, for the Blue Devils. Down two, able to kind of put their momentum or get a little aggressive on offense and swing that momentum back in the favor of them. Absolutely. We're seeing the aggressiveness already. Grace Alexander uh, just doing a great job already. She had 10 points last game, already 17 points in the game. And Culleton tries to get a shot there, but a nice pass to Snyder. She draws the shooting foul, and she will go to the line for two. And so far for the uh, for Fredonia, they're only two for two from the line. In the first half, Jason, Oswego didn't even draw a shooting foul at all for Fredonia. Now the second one in the matter of five minutes. Yeah, well, again, we see the sloppiness from the Lakers spilling over from the first half. But, but Fredonia does a great job at just finding uh, the shots that they want to that they want to get to. They, they do a great job at just getting to the line, finding the shots that they want to take, and uh, we're seeing that again. And now uh, Fredonia doing a great job absorbing contact and have an opportunity to tie this game up. And we look at the turnovers. Oswego have committed two turnovers to Fredonia zero. Fredonia has not committed a turnover, so they're being a little bit more disciplined. Oswego kind of caught with uh, the turnover bug so far carrying over into the second half. So, Jason, I ask you the question. Now for the Lakers against Fredonia in the turnover battle, what is it going to take for the Lakers to you know, clean up the possessions and really own each possession that you have because you're going to have to if you want to win this game. Lakers just have to be prepared for double teams. We've seen it not just on White Principia, but we've seen it on, on the outside, double teaming on the outside for Fredonia. So again, Lakers just have to have a response to the double teams that are coming from Fredonia. Again, it just starts with communication with other players. And it also... It comes down to players moving without the ball. They have to move in order to uh, break the pressure from Fredonium, in order to break the double team from the Blue Devils. And now it will be Kaylin Snyder at the free throw line. She doesn't get the first one, and she'll try to go and get at least one out of this charity stripe participation here. So the next one is no good, and the Lakers are able to get that possession. So... You know, a break for this Lakers team. Snyder 0 for 2 at the charity strike. Holmes now at the right wing. She finds some space. She throws up a three. It hits rim, but it is going to be no good. And now it is going to go for the Blue Devils. A little tripped up for the Blue Devils there. That was Colton trying to get it back in there. Uh, not a nice turnover for the Blue Devils. Iglesias trying to take advantage, but... That one's no good, and Snyder gets that rebound, and Colton will get a second try uh, at this possession. So Colton at the top of the key, throws it over to Snyder. Snyder on White Principio, over to Wandell. Inside to Park, over to Wandell. That shot is no good, but Snyder with the heads-up rebound, able to get that second-chance opportunity and Jason, we've seen it all day. We've seen those second chance opportunities, but mostly for Fredonia to get back into this game. Now it's tied, 35-35. Yeah, that's huge. The second chance opportunities, you've got to limit that if you're Oswego. It's been a problem for them throughout the season. And this will be a foul call here, and it will be in going to be a foul call for the Blue Devils as Oswego will remain in possession here. A little bit of a change now. It will be um, Logan Castiglione coming into the game for Diordio, and the Lakers will continue their possession. Castiglione throws it inside a white Principio, and that one will be a turnover for the Lakers, and the Blue Devils will try to get their lead here tied at 35 with about 3 minutes and 35 seconds here in this third quarter now Colton Mary Colton so far has 6 points on the game throws it over to Kyla Smith back to Wandell that 3 is unlucky there a lot of shots we've seen they've been online but not going through the net and that has worked in Oswego's favor now Holmes 
inside to White Principio over to Castiglione. Castiglione not on the score sheet yet. Over to Iglesias. Iglesias with the nice, uh, nice misdirection there, getting that one to go. And Iglesias now at five points on the score sheet. So Oswego uh, up to Fredonia trying to answer back, and that one will be a shooting foul caused by White Principio on Grace Alexander. So those two big scores, as we mentioned, Jason, they, Principio just gets caught with that shooting foul. Yeah, Lakers, Lakers uh, have been undisciplined defensively, but really, we've seen it. We've seen Fredonia taking up a lot of bad three-point shots, and that's what the Lakers have to play to. The Lakers have to play into that strength. They want to welcome those three-point shots, and I'm surprised that the, that the Lakers aren't going into zone in this third quarter. Have been zone all game. Yeah, uh, I was just gonna say that, Jason. They haven't played zone defense all game. Not, you know, not really challenging them from the arc. Really, just, really, just really getting down into the paint. So something that is an interesting tactic from Coach Pinkerton. But a nice shot from Zane Holmes to get that one to go. And now she is at 11 points on the game, four for 10 from the field. So. White Principio and Holmes both at double digits. And that shot from Alexander hits rim and out. And Holmes is trying to start this possession with a fast break. One on one. That one is going in. And Holmes back to back baskets here. She's at 13 points. And Oswego with a four point uh, lead going into two minutes left into this third quarter. Now throws it over to Snyder from Seaman. Seaman at the left wing throws it inside off of the foot of Kyla Smith and that one will stay with the Fredonia Blue Devils thought it was off of a foot of Kyla Smith but must have touched uh, an Oswego Laker as they will remain in possession for the Blue Devils and that one will throw into Alexander Castiglione tight on her and that one will throw over to Smith Side of Seaman. Seaman from the three. That one will try to be a last second effort from Alexander. Alexander's been all over the floor, Jason. She's been trying to get rebounds. She's been trying to, obviously, she's been scoring a lot, but she's just trying. She's a really a big team player, but a big scorer at that. Yeah, all around player and a great hustler for Fredonia, keeping them in it in this third quarter. And Holmes trying to go three for three here and that one will go in as she gets the trifecta there three possessions three back-to-back -back possessions for Holmes and three straight baskets and now Iglesias going up the floor she had Holmes open but nothing going there over to White Principio looked like she was going to go for three decided not to back to Iglesias Iglesias a nice screen from Principio over to Holmes Holmes throws it inside to Johnson some nice passing, Iglesias over to Castiglione from the right corner, not going, and it will be Oswego ball, Lena Johnson throws it over to Iglesias, and that one will be a travel call for Oswego, and for Donia will try to take, or will try to get back into this game now down six, as we will get a change here. We'll have Katie Lilly coming in, for us, we go along with Julia Logana. Well, Fredonia goes quick right here. They could have a two-for-one opportunity, but it doesn't look like they're going to go after that. So decides to not really hustle to get that two-for-one opportunity as Alexander throws it inside to Wandell, but that one is stolen by the Lakers, but stolen back, trying to, trying to steal one right back as a heads-up play by Kyla Smith, but that one will go out of bounds on her and the Lakers will stay in possession. 29 seconds left in this game with Holmes tightly guarded by Alexander. Holmes now trying to find some space. Alexander guarding her really well. Logana mishandles the ball, but it's a nice steal from Seaman. A backwards pass and a shot by Kyla Smith. Didn't know if that was planned or not, but that one will go out of bounds and that one will be a shooting foul, I believe. But going back to that whole possession, kind of catching Oswego off guard there. Seaman able to 
get the possession and try to a little backwards pass. Didn't know if that was what she was meaning, meaning to do, but for Donia inside of um, their possession, and that one will be out of bounds, that final shot. And at the end of three quarters, Oswego up 43 to 37, a six point lead here. Oswego's on a 6 0 run, and Fredonia has been scoreless. They are one for 10 from the arc in their last 10 possessions, one for seven in their last seven possessions, scoreless. So, Jason, I pose the question we've seen now Holmes explode in this second half now at 15 points and as we take a look at some of the highlights from in the paint we see that obviously white principio has been you know the catalyst for being that uh that catalyst for uh, inside the paint, but we see that Holmes has really turned it up. Yeah, Zane Holmes, I've been impressed with her throughout the entirety of the game. We saw last game against uh, Brockport, Zina Holmes only, uh, Zina Holmes, she shot terribly from the line. She only had one three-pointer and had seven points uh, last game. This game, we've already seen her 15 points, three of five from the three-point arc, and just been uh, really all around the court, as you said earlier, six rebounds for the Lakers. She's been key for them to uh, have this lead going into the fourth quarter. Yeah, and something to note going away from in the paint from the arc. You mentioned before that Oswego not really testing testing the Blue Devils from three-point. Uh, Fredonia right now is three from 20. Oswego six for 16, so they're owning in that three-point percentage we see only 15 15 percent from the three-point for Fredonia Oswego will stay in possession and Locus Stiglione starting off the fourth quarter hot with the jumper there 45 37 Castiglione gets on the score sheet after starting 0 for 3 and now Fredonia will be in possession throws it over to Alexander tries Katie Lilly tries to seal that but Wandell has other plans as that one's bouncing off the backboard and out but it will still be in for Donia's possession here now for for Donia Colton will dish it inside to Wandell Wandell back to Colton Colton inside to Alexander back over to uh, back over to uh, Wandell being able to get that three point shot to go and now it is 45 to 40 in favor of Oswego and they gotta watch out for Wandell she is an effective three point shooter fourth in the Suniac in three point percentage and Holmes trying to ride her hot streak but that one doesn't go and for Donia will try to crawl right back in this game down five Colton man in the charge out to Alexander, looked like she was going to pull up, doesn't go there, and throws it over to Seaman, uh, Seaman with the three, doesn't go there, and the Lakers will get the rebound from Lily. Holmes now going up to the top of the key. She's manning this offense, 15 points so far, trying to add to her big day. Down to Lily, Lily with the shot, and that she is going to draw a shooting foul there, Lily. We'll try to get on the on the score sheet with her first uh, first trip to the charity strike. Yeah, nice effort from Lily there, able to find con find the ball, get the, get the contact, and go to the line, extend this lead for the Lakers. Katie Lily, she is an Oswego native here, so she lives lives and breathes Oswego as she is. She is from Oswego, New York, so being able to live out her dream playing for her own basketball team for SUNY Oswego. And she gets one to go, and it is 46-40 in favor of the Lakers, but Fordonia is driving now. Colleton out to Renee Park. Renee Park over to Alexander, to Snyder, inside to Wandell. Wandell with the back Dirk Nowitzki-style shot, but that one will be no good but it will remain in Fredonia's possession as that was a foul call by Shania Iglesias and Fredonia will 
still be in possession. Throws it inside to Wandell. Alexander trying to add to her big day over to Colton. Colton overshoots Wandell there. That one goes out of bounds and a lucky break for the Lakers as Castiglione will throw it into Iglesias. So we've seen so far, Jason, that you know the Lakers are up six, but it could be a lot closer if the Blue Devils were owning their possessions and not making the mistakes that the Lakers were making in the first half. Yeah, absolutely. It's sort of a flip-flop of the first half. And now Holmes with some pressure in her face. No call there. Throws it inside to Logana. Logana tries to make Wandell miss, but that shot is no good. And a nice rebound by Park. And Castillo giving her a little pressure and a chance to get some points on the board. But the ref does throw the whistle there. And it will be Oswego's ball. So... Obviously, Castiglione there. Castiglione wanted an opportunity, but the ref did throw the whistle, and they will reset here. You know, and we're seeing it. We're seeing both teams laying it out on the court. They know the implications this game has, and we're seeing the aggressiveness from both sides here. Castiglione just a diving for the ball, trying to rack up another possession of steal, and uh, again, we're, we're seeing both teams know the implications this game has. Big Suniac game, a lot of playoff indications for both of these teams. You know, it's been a theme for both teams. You know, whether it be the men's basketball team, women's basketball team, women's hockey, or men's hockey, all of these winter sports are really doing a lot as Alexander is a little bit more to Three-point game here in the Max Seal, and Iglesias will go up the floor now. Glaces is a nice screen by Johnson. Her, her layup is no good, but it will be a foul call, and it will be Iglesias going to the line for two. So about six minutes and 50 seconds left in this contest, the Suni, this big Suniak contest as Iglesias is at the floor. Her first shot doesn't go. And Oswego, and she'll try to get this next one for to be up four points. Glacius, that one is unsuccessful, so 0 for 2. She is 0 for 2 at the line, but nice aggressiveness from Wandell. Ended up to take advantage of those missed free throws now only down one uh, after the missed free throws from Iglesias Iglesias throws it over to Elena Johnson over to Holmes Holmes over to Iglesias she pulls up from three that one is unsuccessful and now the Fredonia Blue Devils have a chance to take the lead Wandell looked like she was going to get get a shot opportunity but Oswego had other responsibilities other plans there Holmes now at the right wing. Throws it inside to Johnson, but a little bit of miscommunication there. And the Blue Devils take over here in this one-point contest with less than six minutes to go. The tensions are rising here in the Max Steel Gymnasium, Jason. I mean, something that we should have expected going into this game. Absolutely. Turnovers, turnovers, turnovers have been the story of the game for the Lakers. It's just crippled this team offensively. And now it is going to be Colton who leads the charge for the Blue Devils. Over to Park. Park inside. And that one is no good for the Blue Devils. That was Peyton Gilbert with the shot. And the Lakers will change over here. Iglesias at the top of the key. Alexander on her who's had a big day with 22 points. Throws it over to Johnson, to Castiglione. Looked like she was going to pull up from three, but a little bit of a little bit of pass there. But bounces right back, and Iglesias with the shot and one. You can count it right there. Iglesias gets the two points, and she'll go to the charity stripe to try to get a three-point play. Yeah, huge possession for us. We go able to go. Up able to go up by three chance now to go at the line we've seen the free throw struggles from oswego throughout the season 
The last game, we saw them go 7 of 13 from the free throw line. Those struggles continue tonight. Oswego now 5 for 9 from the charity stripe. Verdonia 4 for 6. So Verdonia leading in that department, but Oswego is up 4 points with 5 minutes and 15 seconds left to go. Tensions are rising. Big Suniac playoff push game right here. Everything's on the line, and that one is going to be a foul call on Fisher, and Fisher will go to the line for two. Excuse me, that was Peyton Gilbert going to the charity show. Yeah, rare, rare mistake from White Principio there. Uh, Blue Devils just able to capitalize on that. Peyton Gilbert, her first one is no good. As she has two points on the game, one for six from the floor is her first time at the charity strike. Her second one is unsuccessful, but Caitlin Snyder ended up getting the initial rebound, but heads up play by White Principio, not letting the play go dead there for the Lakers. And the Lakers take over here with less than five minutes to go as Diordio checks back in. A screen by White Principio inside, but stolen away by Gilbert. Gets her get back after missing those two free throws. And now Alexander going up the court. Throws it over to Colton. Colton at the top of the key, over to Park. To Snyder at the right wing. Throws it over to Park at the left wing, inside to Snyder. Snyder working on Principio, and that one's unsuccessful. And the Lakers get the rebound. Up four, they can take their time here. And now Holmes is going to reset this Lakers offense over to Diorio. Diorio has five points over to Castiglione, who has two points. Castiglione trying to find some space. Diorio has an open shot, but Fredonia ended up getting on there quick by Park. That shot unsuccessful. A lot of shot selection, not really communication, is not really up to par as Sean Pinkerton would like, but we play on. Less than four minutes here. Colton at the left wing. Over to Snyder. Over to Park. Park from the three-point line. Uncontested there. And that shot is good to go. And it is now a one-point game as we get a timeout here on the floor. And Jason, we've seen it. We've seen this game go back and forth. But that three-point by Park ended up getting that one in. And now 49-48 here. This is anybody's game. Anybody's game here. And, I mean, this is shaping up to be a really good finish. No, oh, absolutely. We saw in the first half, we're going to go cold from the three-point line. They're now three of four in three-point and three-pointers in just this quarter alone. Yeah, it is. It has been the three-point that is saved and hindered different teams. And looking at the score sheet, White Principio started off hot. She has 16 points, 12 rebounds, but this team has been scoreless for the last minute and 30 for Oswego. So going into, after this time, about 3 minutes, 38 seconds left to play. They need this win to get into the playoffs, clinch a playoff spot, but they also want to win these two games and hope for a black court loss so they can come back here right next week, less than a week, to host the play. Yeah, absolutely. Huge, huge game for the Lakers. Again, it starts on defense. The one-point game, they have to have a stance, a defensive stance here against Fredonia. And then, again, slow down the offense. You don't have to rush. You don't have to be in a big rush right now. You can slow down the offense. You look at Fredonia, they're going to come out here in uh, press, which is no surprise here. One possession game. Iglesias now throw it over to Diorio. As you mentioned, Jason, they have that press defense. Really turning up the aggression here in these last three minutes. And Diorio throws it over to Iglesias. Over to Castiglione. Throws it back to Iglesias in the right corner. A screen by Principio trying to get some space there. And that one is going to be a charging call. On Iglesias, is not on the sideline. And Fredonia will 
take home possession, only down one. And it seems like we will get another timeout here for uh, for Oswego. And you saw that last possession, Jason, that charging call, something that Coach Pinkerton was not happy about. He seemed very animated on the sidelines. So, you know, you see the turnovers, you see the sloppy mistakes. Now in these last three minutes and change left for the Lakers, how do they limit that? How do they limit those mistakes? Yeah, the charge was really close. I mean, just looking at it from here, it was awfully close. But again, if you're the Lakers, you just have to mentally stay in it right now. You cannot collapse. We saw the Lakers collapse last game against Brockport. They scored only seven points, got outscored 25 to seven in the fourth quarter. It was a it was a historic uh, meltdown for the Lakers last game. Again, you just have to stick with it. You have to, if you're the coach right now, you just have to say to your players, hey, stay with it. You know Fredonia is going to come out aggressive. You just have to be able to withstand the contact, get to the line, knock down a couple of free throws, and you're going to be in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> if, it, if only it could be simple as that. If it only could be just as true as what you just said, Jason. And for the foul calls, Fredonia at 10. Oswego at nine. So both of these teams playing very aggressive so far. 19 total fouls. You know, they've been spreading it out, so not someone who's in any sort of foul trouble right now. But, you know, in these last three minutes, a lot of a lot of different things can happen. But Fredonia will take the possession starting off here with Colton. Iglesias on Colton throws it over to Alexander. Alexander throws it outside to Wandell. Wandell going inside on Principio. But Principio being a brick wall, not letting Wandell get that shot. Oswego trying to make this a three-point or even four-point lead. Iglesias throws it inside to Principio, finding the hot hand. 16 points on the game, working on Snyder, using her frame to her advantage, getting Snyder out of the way and getting her 18th point on the game. Now a three-point game here in the max deal with two minutes and 30 seconds. Colton, that shot is unable to go, but she gets it right back. And Park throws it inside to Snyder. Double team there, but that doesn't matter as she gets her one to go. And now it is a one-point game here in the Max Seal. Two minutes left to play. This Oswego team dealing with a lot of pressure so far this season. How can they go up to the pressure of the Blue Devils? Diordio. Throws it in there for a shot, but a foul call will be on White Principio. Someone you want to see at the line as she is three for four on the day. She gets another opportunity here with less than two minutes. Has a chance to make this a three-point game and really put the pressure on the Blue Devils. Yeah, last couple of minutes, it's just been a battle of the bigs for both sides, but we're seeing White, Pr White Principio at the line. Knocked down a huge free throw. For the Lakers. Now 52 50. Two point game here. Has another opportunity to make this, and we will get. And it seemed like it was only one free throw. Um, I think a, a little player bit. Uh, stepped before, or a foul was committed before him. Well, we will play on. So 52 50 there. A little bit of confusion there. Uh, and we will play on here as uh, Alexander gets the ball. She gets Castiglion off of her, but Principio able to get that rebound and throws it into Iglesias. Minute 30 left. Oswego up to in this big Suniac game for a chance with the playoffs on the line. Iglesias over to the left corner. Throws it over to Johnson at the top of the key. Over to Castiglione. Ball movement needs to be a factor here. Got to really be safe with the ball if you're Oswego. Glacius with the jump shot. Hits rim and out. And a minute left and Fredonia has a chance to tie or take the lead. Alexander. You know the defense is wavering on there. Takes it to the rim and gets it in. 52-52 as Fredonia picks their press defense here. Iglesias going down the court. Time is ticking under a minute. 45 seconds left. Iglesias needs to find a shot here for the Lakers, but a nice steal from Alexander. Grace Alexander with an unbelievable miss and then is 
uh, saved by her teammate Wandell as we get a timeout here and Jason just a turn of events for the Lakers. Lakers had the possession. They were had a chance to get up in the lead, but a nice steal by Alexander. A little bit of a nightmare scenario for Alexander not being able to get that one in, but Wandell ended up getting that uh, layup in, and now they're up two. Yeah, a huge possession for uh, for Donia. Again, again, we just saw a mental collapse from the Lakers. Uh, we, we, you know, if you if you're the Lakers, you know that Fredonia is gonna double team. You know that pressure is coming, so you gotta expect it. And it just seemed like, really, Lakers just fell asleep at the wheel and gave a wide open layup for Fredonia. Again, a good a good putback for Fredonia. It's able to take the lead with just 37 seconds left. I mean, this is Fredonia's first lead of the game, I believe. Yeah, and Fredonia now at a six to one run in these last two minutes. 37 seconds left in this game. A real thriller coming down the wire here in the Max Steel Gymnasium as both teams look to make a playoff push. Oswego needs both of these games to ensure that they have a playoff spot locked up for Donia looking for that sixth spot. Holmes now over to Iglesias. 30 seconds left to Principio. Her shot doesn't go. And a nice rebound from Fredonia as they can just take it and... They get fouled, and with 22 seconds left to play, a big rebound from Colleton. Mary Colleton ended up getting that rebound there, and we will get a timeout and a missed opportunity for the Lakers. 22 seconds for Donia will have the ball, so they'll have to go and play for the foul. They'll have to put them at the line, but Jason, I mean... For the Lakers, if they're not able to get back into this game, this could be a huge detrimental loss for Oswego. Oh, absolutely. Deadly implications for Oswego. Again, if you're the Lakers, that was a good possession for them. You got the girl. You found the man that you wanted to get for that possession. Giovanna, you get it into White Principio. She's just been a beast underneath, uh, but able, unable to connect. And again, now you really have to foul if you're the Lakers it's gonna to be tough yeah it's gonna it's gonna be really tough here for Oswego but for Fredonia you mentioned it before they were they looked more disciplined coming out of this second half on defense you know there's been back to back with turnovers and everything like that but it seems like for the steals for Fredonia they're at 14 to Oswego's eight so the steals have been something to note for this Blue Devils team really catching Oswego sleeping a lot and they have kind of looked more disciplined and really going for the ball not letting up not letting up on any possession whether it's on offense or defense yeah again that constant pressure from Fredonia has been really transmitted throughout the game and we've seen it uh the pressure just able to get to the Lakers costing them key possessions and again you're it's just a big, big, crucial factor of the game. Now 20 seconds left. Principio will foul Snyder. Caitlin Snyder will go to the line here for two. 54-52. Snyder has a chance to make this a two-possession game and make it difficult for Oswego. She can nail her free throws. The first free throw is in. Successful for for Donia, and now it is a three-point game. If she can make this one, it will be a four-point game, two-possession game for the Blue Devils. And that one will go in, and we'll get another timeout as the Blue Devils sideline is celebrating Caitlin Snyder as she makes those, and now it is a it is a four-point game here with 20 seconds left. So now Oswego will get the ball, Jason. What do they got to do to... Clutch free throws from Snyder there, able to knock him down. Hasn't shot many uh, free, th free throws throughout the season. But again, if you're the Lakers, 20 seconds left. You have to get the ball in real quickly, score quickly, and foul quickly. It just comes down to you, know, you just have to be quick on everything you do. Yeah, and it was looking back on that play where you thought Principio would get two free throws, only got one. Something that we can look back on if the Lakers don't end up uh, coming back here. Only ended up getting one free throw, and that's the difference in this game because if they're able to get that one, it's a three-point game, now two possessions. So 
Really, really a bad break from the Lakers. They've been scoreless in these last two minutes. Obviously, trying to score quickly and score really fast. You want a three, but you got to score two. Got a good point there. Yeah, you want a three. I, you don't need a three, though, right? You don't need a three. If you, if you miss a three, then it's over, essentially. So you can score quickly, get a two-point get a two point shot underneath quickly and then foul and send uh, Fredonia back to the line. And we'll see what happens in these last 20 seconds. This is playoff push coverage here on WTOP10. I'm Alex Brooks. Alongside me is Jason Samsel for 20 seconds left as Holmes will find someone. Iglesias, time is ticking. Iglesias gets the shot there. No good. And Snyder gets that rebound. And that might as well do it for this game as Snyder able to get a clutch rebound. Oswego stays scoreless. And you mentioned before, Jason, that they weren't able to close it out against Brockport. It seems like in short of a miracle, they won't be able to close it out here against Verdonia. Yeah, bad possession there for the Lakers. I was kind of surprised they didn't try to get it dish it into uh, White Principio. Even even if Principio didn't score, even if she got contact, she's not a bad free throw shooter, shooting 64% from the free throw line throughout the season. So I'm kind of surprised they didn't just try to throw it inside to White Principio. It took a lot of time off the clock for that possession. They needed to score quick. And that's what the Lakers didn't do. They didn't score quickly. They took a lot of time off the clock. And now find themselves in a four-point deficit with only 11 seconds left. Yeah, 11 seconds left. Lakers needing a miracle here to come. They will foul Grace Alexander, who has had a big game, as we mentioned before. She has 24 points, really the leading catalyst, really one of the main reasons that this Fredonia Blue Devils team has crawled back and has up, has mainly upsetted this Oswego team. Her first free throw is no good, and it will still be a four-point game if she cannot knock this one down. Her next one is good, and it is a five-point game. We'll take another timeout for Coach Pinkerton, but we'll look around the Suniac right now. Potsdam and Oneana. Potsdam's up 53-47 to with about three minutes left. Go over to in North Country. Plattsburgh is down against New Paltz, 65 to 53. And for Cortland against Buffalo State, they are final. Cortland beating Buffalo State, 86 to 56. A big 30-point win for the Cortland Red Dragons. And we look at the standings. Cortland in that two seed. New Paltz. 15 and 1. They're at that one seed. Oswego or Geneseo, excuse me, is at three. Brockport clinched. And then it's four, five, six. They're all trying to get seeding there. Yeah, this is a huge, huge game for Oswego. Again, they have not secured a playoff spot yet. They really needed this win tonight in order to secure a spot, and now it's going to be a lot tougher their path to the playoffs. And Iglesias will throw it in, need a, need a shot off like right now, and Holmes with that shot unsuccessful, and Fredonia is just going to dribble it out, throws it over to Culleton, and a big, big Suniac win, four for the Fredonia Blue Devils, as they keep their playoff hopes alive, upsetting the Oswego State Lakers here in the Max Seal Gymnasium, a detrimental loss for this Lakers team as they wanted to wrap up a playoff spot, but they have to wait for the other Suniac games to go final, and they have to wait for tomorrow to see if they can clinch a playoff spot. Yeah, it's, uh, again, a, a tough, tough loss for Oswego to drop this one to Fredonia. Again, just a, a big upset, and again, we saw it. This, this was really a, a factor. This was a, as a result of the turnovers that the Lakers committed throughout the game the little mistakes and, and as we say the little mistakes add up over time we've seen that tonight it, it's just been the littlest mistakes have costed the Lakers the game really and with this win by the Fredonia Blue Devils they split the series they lost 74 to 59 in their home arena 
against the Lakers early in this season, January 20th. Now today they get the revenge and beat the Lakers. Uh, beat the Lakers here 57-52 to in Max Zeal. So, Jason, I mean, we see that Grace Alexander scored 25, the leading scorer for Oswego Giovanna White Principio with 19. But, you know, she was starting off really well. They didn't really use her in that second half. Yeah, uh, well, late, uh, the Blue Devils did a great job at just containing White Principio in the glass. And, again, Grace Alexander did a great job uh, tonight. 25 points, only had 10 points last game for Fredonia against Plattsburgh. She came out, and she was on fire throughout the game and just really all over the place for Fredonia. I think the, the discipline from Fredonia was key here tonight in order for them to pick up the win. They, we saw Fredonia down by a lot. Uh, several points throughout the game they were down by a lot and uh you know just it, the the blue devils did a great job of just sticking with it mentally and able to uh able to come out here with a win yeah fredonia ended up upsetting the oswego state lakers but everyone don't go anywhere because we have the same matchup but for the men's team the men's team oswego state lakers versus the fredonia blue devils coming up and just so a few short minutes for Ale for Jason Samsel, I'm Alex Brooks. We'll catch you in just a little bit. Have a good night.